you will be betrayed by parents and brothers and relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. That is Luke's gospel, chapter 21, verses 16 to 17. And during this time, Jesus was talking to his then disciples. He was preparing them for the persecution that they would face because of them following him. Something to note that the word Christianity did not exist until Acts chapter 11. So the followers of Jesus to Christ were known as the way. So during this time, his followers, the apostles that were following him, Jesus is giving them a heads up. Yeah, you're going to be persecuted. You're going to go through some stuff all because of my name. You've attached yourself to my name. And the crazy thing is, is Jesus says, parents are gonna betray you. Family and friends, brothers are gonna betray you all because of my name. You're gonna be hated because of my name. So Jesus was preparing them. And he says, some of them will put you to death. Here's the thing, that was martyrdom back then. Uh, most of the followers of Jesus the Christ were martyrs, with the exception of John. They were literally killed because of what they believed in and preaching and spreading the gospel. They were killed for that. It was a dangerous thing to do and be during that time. I don't know many people at all here in the Western region of the globe in 2024 that are killed for speaking the truth regarding the gospel. But during this time, they were. So yeah, some of this is a timeless principle regarding this text. It is called an apocalyptic text. Jesus is prepping them for uh, when he would return, the second coming, which hasn't happened yet. So he's giving them a heads up. Hey, before I return, these are the signs and things that are gonna take place. But he said, family gonna betray you. Friends gonna betray you. Parents gonna betray you. Loved ones gonna betray you. <laughs> Timeless principle. Don't some of you go through that? Or haven't you been through that? Having a family member start acting shady towards you all of a sudden, and you like, what the hell I do to them? Having friends turn their back on you for real, for real? You like, what did I do to them? What did I do to deserve this? Here it is. All you did was love Jesus more than they do. <laughs> Had to say it. Sometimes loving Jesus and following Jesus the Christ, and somebody ain't there just yet, God, God extends grace on them, but sometimes, family, you love Jesus enough, and all of a sudden, the hate is coming out of everywhere, no matter who it is. So it could be a friend of yours or a so-called friend, but for real, for real, a lot of it is your family who going to betray you, as Jesus said to them. Nothing new under the sun, fam. You want to know the good news, though? Here it is, verse 18. Jesus says, but not a hair of your head will perish. <laughs> in other words jesus is like man y'all gonna go through a lot of stuff i'm telling you and a lot of it is gonna be hurtful because it's gonna be your own blood and your friends but you know what you'll be all right because you follow me you'll be just fine because you follow me i'm not gonna let anything happen to you that's not supposed to happen but you're going to go through some stuff, but you'll be all right because you follow me. I want to encourage somebody on the other side of the screen. That person that broke your heart, whether it's family or friends or whoever it may be, a relative, don't worry about it. You'll be all right because you follow Jesus. Keep on following Jesus and stand on truth no matter what. That's Luke 21, verses 16 to 18. God bless you and yours.